Another small video. I've left the hill fort, met some a couple of people that are tied up with the work that's going up here, friends of the fort or something, what the, we've got a name. There's a meeting on Wednesday, seven o'clock at the museum in the evening. A talk by somebody who knows all about the fort. So I think I'll probably go to that. It's not very late. February is my best month for breathing. It's only one o'clock, see? The magical, mystical wood. I, haven't brought, I didn't wear proper walking shoes today, but it's not too bad actually up here. today. It's Valentine's Day. I haven't met the Valentine yet. Um, I don't think I have either. It's a wood walk today. Walk. The history of St. Valentine. 
I think he was sacrificed. Um, that's when he became a saint. He was um, responsible for when he was in prison, I think, before his execution. He did a miracle on the jailer's daughter. She was blind and she become un and she lost her blindness and could see again. Um, apparently he was executed for allowing Christians to marry each other or something uh, or deaf people of different faiths to marry something something like that so he was he was like a cupid he, he was a valentine and when the girl could see he said I am your valentine I read that today Saint Valentine We can often not, not ever know anything, don't we? There's so much to learn all the time. I can't remember anyone ever telling me that story before. Ever. Let's go down here a minute. I can't decide what to do. I can't decide whether to carry on a walk. It seems too early to go back yet. Yeah, I think I'll do a bit more walking. Going down here, there's some lovely trees down here. This would be awful, these are beech trees down the bottom here. If they moved up the sweat and started cutting them down as well, oh god. There's some brilliant trees up here. Yeah, it depends how far they're going to go, if there's only ten of them doing it. Funny tree up. I'm just doing a bit of weaving in and out today. Walking alone with the camera and doing a video. It's, it's a bit like I've got the audience with me, and you can have them with you. I could go live if I wanted to, on YouTube. But I, I'm not, I don't do that. It could be risky, I think, if people know where you are. Um, I might walk straight up today. I often go off track, but I might walk straight up. I'll walk the way up, and then come across and... Do another little track. Just do a little bit more, I think. I might got over here about half eleven. So it's about an hour and a half now, just walking up towards the wood and I got the um sort of around about ten past eleven bus. So I was over to start walking about half eleven so it was going on for twelve probably by the time I started climbing those steps so it's been a good hour a good hour a good hour in the wood just to get some oxygen even though there's not a lot of leaves on these trees um, yeah I mean I love the walk through these this wood here 
that, that's what got me. If they, they started cutting down some of these really big trees, I really think, I don't know if, I, if I'd like that at all. Yeah, like I said, I met two people earlier. Work, working hard, cutting, stripping, raking. Um, they've got a mission. Good job somewhere else, I suppose. Maybe they're only going to concentrate on the top part of the fort, which which has got all the old stones and defences. Although it's all everywhere, really here. It's everywhere, really. There's a big track I'll be coming crossing in a minute, which goes down to Kew Stoke over there. I do lots of walks here throughout the 12 months. I know this place pretty well now. And I've been studying its architecture. Archaeology, I mean, geology, botany, all of it really, just as an ordinary person. Not in great depth, not with Latin names. doesn't get dark now to about half five, six. Of course, it's once uh, February's gone, you can start relaxing a bit, if you know what I mean, heat-wise. Oh, I hate October and November. To me, that is the start of the long winter ahead, and it has been a long one. I've had to learn to adapt I've had to learn to adapt. <sighs> and it looks like they've been putting some fresh signs up. Will I be able to read with this? No horses or motorcycles on the disabled trail. They'll have to put a no bike as well now, won't they? Yeah, that looks pretty new, that one. Over and out.